The Film Snobs Dictionary. Nyquist, comma, Sven. Nyquist! Nyquist, yeah, sorry. Jeez. Nyquist, comma, Sven. Borgret er hos en veldig borg. Hun er vår mat. Swedish cinematographer who achieved renown by working with master Swedish director Ingmar Bergman on virtually all of his films. <laughs> working in the land of unending winter nights and unyielding summer days, Bergman and Nyquist invented a stark and haunting language that influenced a generation of Bergmanophiles, many of whom would later hire Sven to work on their films. And the winner is... Sven Nyquist for Fanny and Alex. By virtue of the impressive, a strange man, pan linguistic, defecated on my sister, body of work that Nyquist built up, what are you looking at? The role of cinematographer now holds an exalted place in the film snobosphere as a sort of sub auteur. What Nyquist and his peers had in common was a love of naturalistic lighting as opposed to the shiny, artificial light that was epidemic in Technicolor Hollywood. Exhibit A, Robert Altman's anti-Western McCabe and Mrs. Miller, in which cinematographer Vilmos Zsigmond gave Altman an almost entirely dun-colored movie. What's the matter with you, Shane? You got a turd in your pocket or something. The visual equivalent of horse manure smell vision I find that attractive. The honorary American in this group, Gordon Willis, took the concepts of underlighting and underexposing to their logical extreme in the Godfather films. And Nick Vist himself came to be known as the master of light. Recruited even for such mainstream films as What's Eating Gilbert Grape and Sleepless in Seattle. Are you sleeping at night? doesn't sleep at all. A far cry from the frosty, chamberish atmospherics of Persona and Winter Light. Defusing his Do you believe in heaven? Yet who's to say that Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks didn't benefit from a little Swede mystique? Courtesy of the Nixter.